This is a Chevrolet Captiva. No, it's not an entirely new car. It's been on our roads for a few years already. So then why don't you recognize it? Two reasons. One, it's undergone a little bit of a facelift. Two, it's not that popular. And it's that second point that really boggles the mind. I don't get that. Why isn't it? It's a really good car. Now the facelift isn't too drastic. They've revised the front bumper and given it new headlights. The headlights have now got an LED daytime running light strip in them and it gives it a much more contemporary look. Down the side, I actually think it's quite nice. New 18 inch alloys, the step sills and small touches like that vent in the fender and the body color strip in the door handle. Okay, the back end's a little uninspired, but overall, it's fairly pleasant on the eye. Space and versatility is really one of the areas where the Captiva shines. Like this in its five-seater format, you've got 477 liters of boot space, but you can increase that to 942 liters by folding the middle row down. And yes, I say middle row because flip these out of the way, and push these up and you get your third row of seats. Back down in place and all is well. Now you quickly revert it back, quite simply. Uh, Mr. Cameraman. There we go. Like such, and the world makes sense again. What are the updates to the Chef Captiva? For me, the highlight is no doubt the new MyLink infotainment system. In this fast paced world of technology that's ever changing, it's fantastic to see a simplistic unit like this that connects so well. It's really super intuitive and really, really easy to use. It's got this beautiful seven inch touch screen and so much is displayed on it. Uh, your audio and your phone and your gallery. And then there's the added bonus of your connectivity. Just plug in your device and you've got Apple CarPlay. Now it's got Android Car on it as well, but this just opens up a whole new world because all of a sudden you've got access to all your messages. You've got uh, access to your maps. And of course, this is where you store your recent locations. So you don't really need to bundle it with navigation because well, your navigation's already on your phone. You can actually access your music and check what's playing. Um, then, one step further, we can press and hold here. And we've got Siri on hand to help us out hands-free. I couldn't find help in your contacts. The message says, us out. Not only is it well equipped and spacious, but it drives beautifully as well. Now it's available with a 2.4 litre petrol or the one we're driving here, which is the 2.2 litre diesel. My fellow journalists have driven the 2.4 litre petrol and they say it's a little underpowered, lacks a little bit of torque. No such thing here in the 2.2 litre diesel. It makes 400 Newton meters and has 135 kilowatts on tap. So it is pretty pokey and sprightly and mated to the six speed automatic gearbox, which is the only option. It is a pleasure to drive. Chevrolet Captiva 2.2 LT retails for 422,800 Rand. It's really not bad money for what you're getting here, but it does place it pretty squarely in amongst the opposition, the likes of the Nissan Qashqai. 
even the Mazda CX-5. It is well trimmed, it is well specced. And I'm sure we're going to start seeing a couple more of these facelifts floating about on the road. Mark my words. Uh -huh.